comes to questions for oral answer, question number one, in the name of the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mr Speaker, this question is to the Prime Minister. How does he stand by all his statements? The Speaker. Right Honourable Prime Minister. On foot. <coughs> <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it, eh? Order. <laughs> Order. Brilliant. Order. <laughs> Not sure. The man's a witness. Order. half right. Order. <laughs> we now need to get to the serious business of question time with substantially less interjection from quite a number of prominent people in the House. The Right Honourable Winston Peters' supplementary question. How can he stand by his statements yesterday that New Zealand, and I quote him, is not a tax haven, end of quotes, and that we, and I quote him again, also have an extensive disclosure regime, end of quotes, when specialist law firms on trust for foreigners point out there is no need for disclosure of identity or trust registration or for any such trust accounts to be audited? The Right Honourable Speaker, Prime Minister. Uh, because I'm right. <laughs> Order. This is now the third time I've asked for a little bit of cooperation, and I'm going to have to expect it in the future. Right Honourable Winston Peters. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, the Right Honourable Winston Peters. How can he argue that he is right and that our legal requirements and obligations are both transparent and require disclosure when IRD is not required to share information with foreign jurisdictions unless that jurisdiction suspects the fending and then ask them for information. The Right Honourable Speaker, Prime Minister. Uh, because I'm correct and the member's wrong. Oh, oh, uh, point of order, Mr Speaker. Order. Order. Point, point of order, the Right Honourable Mr Speaker, I am not saying that I'm right. I'm asking order. him a simple question which doesn't require that flippant answer order, no, now no. twice. Order. No, the, the question started with how can he argue that he's right? And the Prime Minister gave an answer that satisfied that. The member might not agree with it, but that's <laughs> addressed the Supplementary question. question. Supplementary question, the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Uh, does he agree with John Christensen, Executive Director of the Tax Justice Network, that, and I quote them, trusts are used in many instances as one of the basic building blocks of these sophisticated tax evasion structures, end of quotes. If not, why not? The Right Honourable Prime Mr. Minister. Mr Speaker, I'm here to be a tax uh, trust expert, but people use trusts for all sorts of reasons. Uh, they use them because they want to have their assets held, uh, because they may, for instance, be sued, or they may use trusts for all sorts of other reasons. Members of this House use them all the time. The uses... Supplementary question. Supplementary question, the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Quoting from this long statement from the Prime Minister, Quotes, tax havens are where there is non-disclosure of information. New Zealand has full disclosure of information. So all you've got is a situation where New Zealand has taken a different view from a lot of jurisdictions. And that's because the way we tax is we tax a set law. In other words, it's all about making sure that New order, Zealanders order. pay their fair share need, of tax, under quotes. I do need a supplementary question, not a yes. long quote. Right. Well, having, having to conclude, in other words, it's all about making sure that New Zealanders pay their fair share of tax, unquotes. What on earth does that mumbo jumbo really mean? <laughs> the Right Honourable Prime uh, Minister. Mr Speaker, well, it sounded a lot better when I said it, but Mr Speaker, the, the answer was that we tax a set law, and the reason we tax set laws is because it's good tax policy, because it stops New Zealanders actually creating taxes in all sorts of foreign jurisdictions and avoiding paying tax in their home country called New Zealand. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Well, then, if he is right, why are so many international commentators and now the Australians having a go at us for being, in their words, a tax haven? Right. Now, the Right Honourable Prime Minister. Well, as the member knows, people throw around all sorts of comments, but New Zealand is not a tax haven. Supplementary question. Supplementary question. Right, Honourable Winston. Can he assure this House that none of his present or former ministers, uh -oh. that's him as Prime Minister, have been and are involved in tax haven activity? 
the Right Honourable Prime Speaker, Minister. Speaker, I can't speak for any other member because we have a pecuniary interest uh, list that people have to record. But as I've recorded on my pecuniary interest, I have two trusts. One of them has been the long-established trust I've had in my wife's name, the JP and BIK Family Trust, and the other is the Allgate Trust, which is established so it could be a blind trust that when I became Prime Minister, all of my assets could go in there. Some any question? Order. Some order. Question? Order. Order. To the Honourable Amy Adams, I've called for order. Is right that, Honourable Prime Minister. Uh, is, is that blind right trust? Honourable Winston Peters. Is that blind trust one with 2020 vision? <laughs> <laughs> right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, I have no ministerial responsibility there other than to say that a, a blind trust was established. Um, as other Prime Ministers have, because it's good practice to do so. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, right Honourable Winston Peters. Why, since he's become the Prime Minister, has there been a threefold increase in offshore trusts operating in New Zealand, were it not for the discovery internationally of just how lax our tax money laundering and disclosure regime is? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, that's not true. Uh, tax laws around trusts were established in New Zealand in 1988. The disclosure right regime changed, uh, was implemented in 2006. Subsequent to that, there's been a number of other uh, things that have been done to improve aspects of trust. In 2013, the OECD gave a report on New Zealand and, and uh, fully cleared New Zealand. Supplementary question, Right Honourable Winston Peters. Well, if that's the case, why, subsequent to that date he gave as the reason why we should be all relaxed about it, have the Ministry of Business, Innovation and Employment and Treasury expressed their concern about the existence of tax haven activity in New Zealand, and why should we believe him and not them? The Right Honourable well, Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, as I said, in 2013 the OECD gave New Zealand a clean bill of health. What's also happened is that New Zealand continues to work with the OECD about its base minimisation, but IRD regularly puts up a menu of options that could be looked at in, as part of its work programme. It wasn't the number one priority for uh, the government at the time because compared to other measures where we could have them working, it would be actually about collecting more new tax for New Zealanders. Question. Number two, 